Hey everybody, Richard Roy 2 here. This is a response to Mojo Sideburns, who did a shout out to me. Thank you, Mojo Sideburns. Greatly appreciated. I'm very flattered, really. Uh, you had spoken about uh, two videos in regards to uh, the idea of emotions and integration with logic or reason, and uh, uh, you were talking about uh, the video that. Uh, a zombie picture show that's put out about uh, extending life beyond tolerance. Uh, at least that's the general gist of it. And the uh, interesting aspect of it was uh, the idea that uh, someone would prolong someone's life or push people to stay alive longer than they, 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 really, they really want to or can tolerate. There's always a kind of a struggle that goes on there, and we always have to use our own heads and 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 try to judge the situation for its merits according to what's going on in relation. The person who is trying to relate to the person who's suffering. Uh, the, now, people may poo-poo this, but I had beautiful dog, Great Dane, and uh, I took her with me. I'm a truck driver. I took her with me in the truck all the time. My lifestyle doesn't allow me to keep her. I miss her terribly. <laughs> but she couldn't handle being in the truck. It was getting to the point where it was affecting her body, her system, her digestive tract. I get her into the truck at the beginning of the week and she'd be shaking in the corner and I just couldn't stand doing that to her. I didn't want to see her suffer. What I did was I found her a good home that didn't move. She's happy now. And that makes me happy. I still get to see her, and uh, she, the people who have her are good people, and they love her, and it shows. I visit, and I see her, and she's a happy girl. So it's a matter of preserving life beyond tolerance for the sake of your own selfish desire to have that person around, or to want that person t not to suffer. balancing act. It's always something we have to do. We have to weigh things. And that emotional side of things is very important. I th <laughs> I've become more of an emotional person in the last four years or so. I've always been, but I've been terribly repressed and it's taken a great deal of struggle over a very long period of time to finally come back in contact with them. And uh, I've seen the damage they can happen without them. <clears throat> there are many amazing things that uh, emotions bring to you. There's actually been a great deal of study that shows that uh, there are several elements of emotions that uh, if trained and integrated healthfully, properly, can be of a great benefit to our lives in terms of well, memory recall. It said that emotions have a, a very important role to play in memory recall. So it's very, um, I, I think there's a mistake in saying that uh, emotions play no part in the cognitive sense. We I think there's a, a great need for them in that respect. There's other elements to it too. Um, I won't get into all of the details of it, but uh, I'm I'm hoping to see a great deal more of a discussion along the lines of this because, uh, again, our rationalist society seems to have pushed emotions to the side to such an extent, to the point where we do end up with the sociopaths and the psychopaths who have no capacity for empathy. Possibly because they may be disconnected from their emotions, a lot of things damage our 
connection and relationship to our emotions from a very early age because they are very powerful drivers and they can instill a great deal of pain until you learn how to work with them. Unfortunately, there's a great deal in our rationalist society that tends to push the emotions down and, and, and uh, I think that does us a great disservice. Hopefully we can come to a point where we can bring them together a great deal more. Uh, Friendo makes a good point. We are, I think, an emotional being that can reason. And uh, there, is a, there is a tendency, I think, for emotions to be the primary drivers. But I don't like to set up some kind of a dichotomy. I think they do have an integrative role to play in our lives. That's all I can think right now. I th again, humbly thank you for the shout out, and uh, thank you for continuing this particular issue. I think it needs to be considered a great deal more, and I think that's helping to bring it to the front. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.